Hey everyone and welcome to tips and tricks number one. Uh, if you don't know what tips and tricks is, it's a new series I'm starting on my channel every Thursday. I'm going to upload a video about a tip or a trick or anything like that that can help you lose weight or maintain weight or just about health in general. Um, I want to let you guys know that I am not a personal trainer. I'm not me uh, a medical doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. So all of this knowledge is just stuff that I research online. So it could be wrong. It could be right. But I am not in any way affiliated with the, the medical team, just so you guys know. Um, so these are just things that have personally worked for me or I think could work for everyone in general. Um, and I will just post the links down below of where I found this information. For example, this week I'm starting with water. Um, it's going to be a short little video all about water. And I found it at a website called dumblittleman.com, which sounds kind of funny. It sounds like a, a weird website to find medical information, I guess. Mm -hmm. But I found that this article was really good and it explained a whole bunch of different things. So basically I'm just taking their information and giving it to my audience um, in the form of a video instead of writing it. So none of this credit goes to me, it all goes to them. So I'm going to start with water and just a little bit about water and then at the end I'm going to talk about how to incorporate more water into your um, daily routine. So, of course, everyone knows who's on a diet that water is one of the best tools to lose weight. And as a side note, which is a benefit for all of us trying to lose weight, that there's no fat, no calories, no carbs, and no sugars in water. So you can drink as much as you want, um, and you won't have to worry about it. Um, drinking a lot of water can lower your risk of heart attack. There was actually a study done in 2002 and it showed that people who drank more than five glasses a day of water were 41% less likely to die from heart attack than those who drank less than two glasses a day of water. And I thought that was really an interesting uh, statistic um, because I have a family who has heart problems. So I thought that, you know, it was pretty cool to learn that drinking water can uh, reduce your risk of heart attack. Um, obviously, if you don't drink enough water, uh, you get into dehydration mode. When you're in dehydration mode, you it takes away your energy and makes you tired, and it causes also fatigue, muscle weakness, and dizziness. Um, and of course, a simple uh, a symptom of dehydration is headaches. So if you have a headache and it's just not going away, no matter what you do, maybe you're just dehydrated. Um, you should drink more water. Um, and w drinking water also can clear up your skin and give you a healthy glow. It helps digest your food, cure stomach acid problems, and if you drink water and combine it with fiber, um, it can cure constipation, which I thought was interesting. Um, and water, it just it use it's like a, a how do you call this? It flushes out toxins and waste products from your body. And another interesting statistic and something that I think that a lot of people can kind of take away from because cancer is something that touches a lot of people's lives. It touched my family's lives as well. Um, drinking a lot of water can lower your risk of colon cancer by 45% and bladder cancer by 50%. So now for ways to incorporate more water into your uh, daily routine. Um, and the first trick is something that I try to do almost every day. I fail most of the time, I'm being honest, I fail most of the time doing this, but it's something that I've tried before in the past and when I do do it, it just makes me feel so much better. Um, you, you can drink a glass of water when you wake up, at each meal, between each meal, and before, during, and after workouts. Um, you can also carry a reusable water bottle with you to fill during the day. Um, whether it's at school or at work or whatever you do during the day, you can just bring your reusable water bottle and just fill it up so you can constantly have water with you. Um, this one I've never done, but it's, and it sounds kind of funny to me a little bit, but it's a tip that maybe some of you might take away from this video. You can set reminders on your phone or whatever you have to set reminders to drink water. Um, just maybe once every hour set a reminder, oh, it's time to drink a glass of water or something like that. Um, you can drink it instead of soda or alcohol. 
or you can have sparkling water at uh, social events like parties and things like that instead of having the alcohol or the soda that they're offering. You can also filter it so it tastes a little better. I know some people's water, like the water in my apartment building kind of tastes a little weird. Uh, we filter it and it tastes just like bottled water for us. So you could filter it so it might taste like bottled water. So maybe that will taste better for you. Um, and also this is one that it kind of made me have one of those duh moments. Um, you can exercise more. And the more you exercise, the more you're going to need hydration. And the more you're going to want water. So you just incorporate more water into your diet just by exercising. And you can also track how much water you drink. Um, you can use paper, a notebook. There's even apps. I haven't looked at too many of them. I kind of just quickly scrolled through last night the apps on the i the iPod store, the Apple store. Um, and they do have apps for uh, checking bottled water, which was really cool. Some of them are free. Some of them um, cost money. But um, I haven't really downloaded any of them that of the free ones. So I can't really tell you what's included in each app or how each app works. But I have checked. Um, and they do have some free ones if you want free apps of how to track your bottled water. So that is it for my first tip and trick of the of my channel of this series and if you think of any other tips and tricks or things that you want me to look into and do a video on if you have any requests then just leave them back down below or send me a message and I will do my best to do one for you um, and once I get all my links set up like my Instagram and the Twitter I said I was going to set up and the blog and things like that I will include those in the description box I just haven't had time to sit down this week and set up for um, my blog and things like that so um, that will be set up eventually and I will let definitely let you guys know when it's set up so I hope you all have a good Friday if you're watching this on Friday this will probably go up later during the day on Thursday and um, I will just I'll see you all on Saturday bye